Shalom, all praise unto Yahweh, Pashim Yahusha, Pashim Rakakatash, double lesson to the elder apostles of Great Muslim, the elder Sultan, Shalom to them. To all you sincere Akim, you are truly doing this work in sincerity. Reincarnation in Matthew 24th chapter. This is ultimate proof. Okay? This is a Matthew 24, verse 3 says, S. And as he sat upon the Mount Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and when shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the world, or an end of an age, eon? Okay, the end of men ruling, and the beginning of the kingdom of heaven be established under the rulership of the of the Messiah, Hamashiach, Yehoshua. King David the twelve sitting on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel and the nations being under subjection to the twelve tribes. Okay. This is the kingdom, this is the end of the world and the sign the sign of the coming of the Messiah. Let's jump down. He mentioned all these things that he keeps on mentioning. And guess what does he say in Matthew in thirty four? It says Matthew thirty four twenty four. Uh, Matthew twenty four. All right, it says uh, verse eight says and says says then and then shall appear the sign of of the son of man in heaven, and shall and then shall the, all the tribes of the earth moan and they shall see the son of man coming in in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. All right, it says and he shall send his angels with with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together what he select from the four winds from one end of the heaven into the other all right now let's jump down it says of verse 34 it says very i say unto you this generation shall not pass away until all these things be fulfilled this generation that he was with it says all these things will be fulfilled will will, will be fulfilled within this generation okay it says it says the generation at that time will not pass away at all to all these things that he has mentioned till they come to pass till he returns so the question the question is did the messiah return in that same exact same generation no what does it mean that is reincarnation the same generation is going to be standing alive and living at the return of the messiah through reincarnation rebirth back in the flesh revelation 1 Verse seven, that same generation. Oh, this of Reve Revelation one and seven it says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds; every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all the kin kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, a man, even those that pierce him, they're gonna see him and they're gonna bewail him. Did that happen? Did he return? At that the exact same generation, the time that." The, the exact same generation that he was pierced and, and crucified and hung on, on a tree? No, he did not. But the same exact same generation is going to be alive at his second appearing. That's why it says, Every eye shall see him. It says, Even those that pierce him, reincarnation. That will mean the Messiah was a liar. Okay, because right here it says in Matthew 24, verse 34, If there was no reincarnation, that will make the Messiah a liar. Romans 3 and 3, let the most high be true, but every man a liar. Matthew 24, verse 34, Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass away, shall not pass, till all these things be fulfilled, the retaining of the Son of Man. That generation at, the, at this time will not have, what? They should have not have perished, all of them have died until the Messiah returned. That what it means so that generation is back here at the return of the lord it is here reincarnation in matthew 24. all praise unto yahweh bashim yahushat bashim rakakatash double unto yahweh support social home